didn't take too kindly to that and responded with this. Explain to me what the bleep I got to do with the subject matter. I'm over here minding my damn business, preparing for Houston. And by the way, I ain't never been nobody but my damn self. Mm. That's followed by a uh, crown and another, you know, a little swear word there. I can't, I can't say everything on TV, guys. Shannon, do you like LeBron's tweet? I love it. At some point in time, Skip, you got to call out this blasphemy. Now, I don't get what, first of all, I don't get what Richard Jefferson's talking about. Hmm. Because Scottie Pippen was never, ever thought of as better than Michael Jordan. And see, Skip, you remember when this pandemic went on in the early parts of June? It was supposed to be, re be released later. But because we were in a pandemic, there was nothing on television. They released this documentary. It was called The Last Dance. And what The Last Dance did is that it clouded people's judgment. Because people believe that Michael Jordan went to, got to, won every finals that he played in the NBA. And that's not true. Michael Jordan, in his first three playoff appearances, mm. won one game. Mm. He got swept twice. He won one game against the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm. So if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. So how, many who, did, how many did you score against the Celtics skip, in that first game? Skip, it was not how about, about 63? So, so let me ask you a question. How about it, God and sneakers? So is, is, is it about scoring or is it about winning? I just need to mm. know. Because the argument that you always use when Peyton Manning was putting up these big numbers, mm -hmm. you were telling me Tom Brady was winning titles. So you're saying Michael Jordan's overrated. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I think you just said that. You just made the case. And that's the wrongest case you've ever made in the history of this show. I'm going to get back to my mm -hmm. point. I love D-Wade. I love what he taking on his three sons, raising them. One of his sons chose to live, her, live mm -hmm. her best life and says, Dad, I want to identify as this, this, and he supported it, even though he caught a lot of criticism. He said, I love my child and I want what's best for my child. Mm -hmm. So I love D-Wade. Even as D-Wade won a title, D-Wade was finals MVP. No one has mm -hmm. ever said Dwayne Wade was a better player than Michael Jordan. No one has ever said that. No. So for Richard Jeff, so for Jay Williams to come out and say that LeBron James was Scottie Pippen to, to mm -hmm. uh, Michael Jordan mm -hmm. was, was, flat, was a flat-out lie and flat-out wrong. It's not. It's not a lie. It's just wrong. It's, it's just a lie. wrong. Yeah. It's a lie. Well, it's not. A lie. I mean, he's not like making up. It's. It's his opinion. Skip. At some point in time, I mean, I mean, that's there's a lot of opinion that floats yeah. around okay. that gets information. My point is, is that Giannis has Giannis played great? No. Giannis is about to be a two-time league MVP. He's defensive player of the year. So under that argument, the year that Michael Jordan won the player defensive player of the year and the MVP. Who was Michael Jordan on that team? Because he got bounced in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. See, people got to stop this foolishness that Michael Jordan got to the finals every year and he won every year. No, he didn't. His first seven years in the league, Michael Jordan okay. did not get to the finals. Okay. Well, it took some time. Oh. And then what happened? Skip. Skip. Well, tell the people what happened Skip, once he broke through. What Skip. happened? Skip. Six straight times, six okay. straight when MVPs. You, so if you don't mind me asking. How many years has Giannis been in the league? Yeah. Okay. So who's to say once he break through, he doesn't keep it going? Is that what you're predicting? No, <laughs> no are you predicting that? Oh, my goodness. Well, do you see that? We, we deal in opinions. Skip. What What does your heart my or your gut tell you? My opinion is, is that people keep making Michael. Michael Jordan is transcendent. He is a historical basketball player. But can we stop this notion that Michael Jordan never lost? Michael Jordan won every game. Michael Jordan went to the playoffs all 15 years. I mean, he went to the playoffs all 15 years. He won the title all 15 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, Giannis look, didn't, look, didn't play up to the MVP standard against Toronto. Okay. He lost. But Michael Jordan was MVP in a bunch of years that he did not even make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. And nobody said a thing. We've got to stop this, Skip. If a guy wins the MVP in a season and he doesn't win the title, you got to stop thinking he's a bum. That's not true. Okay. Because It's very seldom, Skip, that a guy wins MVP and the finals in the same year. So when Kevin well, it's Durant, very seldom because it's only happened now third time. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the regular season MVP. Oh yeah, yeah. I and, mean, and defensive player of the year. No, no. I'm just oh, saying. I'm oh, just saying the regular season. I'm okay, just saying MVP. It. Yeah. Because the year Kevin Durant won the MVP, Skip, did he make it to the finals? No. So what was he? 
Okay, he was back-to-back -back Finals MVP. When Skip, it that was not then. Okay, you keep trying to move the I, goalposts. I don't move the goalposts. Yeah. I'm just okay. spitting facts. By 2014, mm -hmm. how many Finals MVPs did Kevin Durant win in 2014? He was stuck with Russell See, Westbrook. You changed the argument. I'm you changed change. the argument again. No. Change the argument again. I first guessed that. And I was so far Kip, ahead of that Kip, curve. It Kip, was a joke. Kip, Kip, it was a joke. Kip, I was the one. Kip, I said, do you Kip, see what's happening in Kip, Oklahoma City? Kip, Did I not? Kip, you got to give me credit. Kip, okay. I first guess. I don't second Kip, guess. Kip. Skip, that's not the argument. Okay. I, I make it first. You look at it in hindsight. I make it first. I first guess everything. Okay, Skip. You get kudos for that, but that's well, not, not the, from you. Skip, but that's not the argument in this. Okay, what is the argument right here, right now? The, it starts with Giannis. Yes. Who is he? What is he? What will he be? He's that's a, the subject at hand. He's a two-time. Okay. He's about to be a two-time league MVP right. and a defensive player of the year. Okay. That is a young player. Okay. What did start this? Richard Jefferson tweeted. Giannis might be a Pippin. He said, might be a Pippin, dot, dot, dot. There I said it. This is the tweet right. from Richard Jefferson, who obviously played with LeBron. He's played a long time in the league. Not a great player, but a pretty good player. So, so okay? great. So, so, so how good, do, how good? So if he's not great, how many really, how many good players have won the MVP in the regular season? Okay, what's I don't know what the point is of what you're asking. But he, you said he might be a good player. He's well, a I mean, two-time league. I'm, I'm trying to give him some credibility here. He played alongside LeBron. Yes. He loves LeBron, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Might be a Pippin about Giannis. There I said it. He needs his Jordan. That's the tweet that that detonated all this from Richard Jefferson. Okay. I co-signed that tweet because I first guessed that. I told you last year, games three. Four, five, and six against the Toronto Raptors. Giannis shrank. What do we call him? 6'11? He played like he was 6'3 okay. in that series in the last four games. In the fourth quarter of those four straight games, he completely disappeared. He was ineffective to the point he was shooting 29% from the field over those four games mm -hmm. because they walled him off and said, you have a big hole in your game. You have no mid-range jump shot. You cannot hurt us from seven feet or eight feet or 12 feet. This year, he tried to shoot more threes, and sometimes he can be fairly effective from three. Right. But when the pressure is on, he cannot be effective from three because he's not a very good three-point shooter. And you know and I know he is a liability at the free throw line, especially in playoff games. See what happened the other night against the Heat when he had a chance to make it a little closer. Remember, it was 43 mm -hmm. seconds left, and he badly missed two straight free throws that surprised nobody. So here we go again against Miami, a smart team, a tough team mentally and physically with a good coach and Eric Spolstra, and they just said, we're going to do what Toronto did last year. We're going to say, you can't have this anymore. In the regular season, he gets all he wants at the rim. He is this generation's Wilt Chamberlain, just <laughs> finger rolling at the rim. He just swoops to the hoop and lays the ball home. And once he gets downhill on you, you know and I know, you cannot stop this no, man. No. But you can stop him with your mind and your strategy because if you take that away, he doesn't have enough more to, to complement his game to hurt your defensive strategy of build a wall right. about three feet from the basket, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that means by his standards, he is being overrated. I keep doing that, and I'll do it in all caps, overrated, because he did just do something only two other players have ever done. Right. MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, in the same year. Right. And by the way, speaking of Defensive so, Player of the Year. So what did Jordan do in that year? Okay, you, okay that's fine. But, but he did it. Is that not a historic feat? John is going to do it. Is okay. that not, not a historic feat? Okay. okay, I ask you, did Michael Jordan ever flame out in a playoff series the way LeBron did in 09, 10, and 11, twice for Cleveland and the first year in Miami? Did, did one time he ever have one playoff series where you said, Michael, what happened? You shrank. You disappeared. Nobody ever said that. Even when he yeah. wasn't getting out of the first round, he was scaring the holy hell out of the Boston Celtics, who barely swept him. They they, clo they won close games right. each time. One game, the first game, he scored 63, and it went to overtime. They were 
relieved to get out from under the guy that Larry Bird called God disguised as Michael Jordan. Okay, Skip. If we look at the last three play, the last three finals, LeBron is lost. Mm -hmm. He's 33, 11, and nine. Okay. So what do we? What credit do we get for that? Did he win? Did Michael okay. Jordan win? Yeah, once he broke through, he just See, won and won and won. Skip, he he would have won eight but, straight but skip, finals. Skip, who's to say that okay. Giannis, right. once he breaks okay. through? So here's the point. The Giannis I'm seeing, does, he's not an alpha. He doesn't have, as they say, that dog in him. He does not have takeover intangibles. He's a complimentary star, and Richard is exactly right. He's in search of maybe not a Jordan, but a co-star. He's Anthony Davis in New Orleans, where he was the PER prince in search of his LeBron, okay. and he found him. Anthony Davis does not have that dog in him, as Charles Barkley said a few weeks back. Anthony Davis is a, a complimentary a, a Robin to Batman. He's a supremely talented Robin, but you watch, now that the playoffs are starting for the Lakers and the spotlight is getting really bright and hot, let's see how Anthony does under that spotlight. That, this this ain't Portland the, anymore. Is, is that the same Charles Barkley mm -hmm. that predicted Portland was going to okay, win? Okay, all right. But, what, but again, you, so you nitpicking what he said. You no. said about, he said Anthony Davis ain't not that dog, but you didn't mention okay. he, was, he okay. was absolutely wrong. Charles is much better on critiquing players and Okay. Like social issues that we're about to talk about in a few minutes on this show, then he is predicting can, can, games. Can I ask you? He is he is foolish when he predicts games. Can I ask you a question? So was Kevin Durant when his leaving OKC going to Golden State, was he Pippin? Going to Golden State. Yes. When Pippen? Kevin Durant no, left I told OK you why he left. It doesn't matter, Skip. Yes, it does. What are you talking about? There you go again. You're moving the goalpost. Yeah. I, I dug in up front on that in 2012. I said on television, on ESPN, Kevin Durant is going to leave Russell Westbrook because he can't stand playing with a primary ball handling decision maker who gets to decide every time up the court, my <laughs> turn or your turn. I think it's my turn and I got the ball in my hands. And we're seeing it right now with James. Can James win with Russ? It's Skip. hard. Skip. We got here mm -hmm. because Jay Williams said okay. LeBron James okay. Scottie Pippen for okay. Gordon Leak up with okay. D Wade. Right. Now, and now you changed it again. Oh, no, you changed the subject because you asked a bizarre question that was off subject. Now we get to Jay Williams. And he says LeBron was a Pippen with D Wade once. Well, no, he wasn't. And that, there we agree. Okay, it's, it's just wrong headed. I, I don't know what Jay is trying Thank to say you. because no, he wasn't. What had LeBron just done? Well, he'd won back-to-back -back MVPs. Did Scottie Pippen ever no. win an MVP? No, he didn't. That one year without Jordan when he, I think he finished He's third, third I, I believe. Okay. He and he was, he was an uh, all-star game MVP. He was an all-star game MVP. But at that point, LeBron had been a six-time all-star and twice won all-star game MVP. Right. He's, he is Jordan-esque in his talent. Right. I don't think he has anywhere near Jordan's intangibles. That's highly debatable. But right. the point was he tried in Cleveland to do it by himself, right. and he ran into my Spurs in the 07 finals, mm -hmm. and it's like, I'm the best player on the floor, but I got swept. And he was. He's the most talented player on the floor. And it's really by far that he was the most talented player. And then we turn around in 09, and he hits the shot heard around the world to save game two at right. home against the Orlando Magic. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to get rocky again, and he loses that series in six games. Flamed out. And then the next year, Boston became his last year, the first go-round in Cleveland. And you know what happened. It flamed out. You he see, played one of the all-time great games on a Friday night at Boston in game three, and they're up two games to one, and they go loss, loss, loss. You see what you do, though, Skip? When LeBron James loses, he averaged 36 in that series. Okay. Had a, hold on, Skip, let, just let me finish. When LeBron James loses, he always flames out. Michael Jordan loses. All you do is say, look at the numbers that he put up. You cannot have it both ways. Time out. Against Boston, it got so bad that someone from LeBron's camp leaked to ESPN that LeBron had to be sedated before games four, five, and six, all flame-out games for LeBron and the Cavaliers against the Boston Celtics because of an interpersonal issue, interlocker room issue with a teammate. And I called baloney. In fact, I said, I need to be sedated because that got leaked because I don't believe he was sedated before those games. Then Dan Gilbert 
publicly accused LeBron of quitting in those games against the Boston Celtics, which obviously was leading to LeBron's departure, I take my talents to South Beach. Mm -hmm. He needed a big brother. He, he had, he, he, here, this is what he was. LeBron at that point was Batman with Robin's intangibles. He didn't know how to win yet. He needed somebody, Dwayne Wade, a very close friend and a big brother figure to teach him to win. You, you had to go to Baltimore and you taught some of those younger players, this is how you do it. This is how you handle this yourself. And Dwayne taught LeBron how to control his emotions, how to channel his energy in the right direction, how to quit reading social media, quit listening to what I say or anybody else says, and lock in on the goal at hand, which is finally in 2012, beating the Oklahoma City Thunder. But it took 2011, it was the all-time flame out for a superstar in the finals. It was the meltdown of meltdowns by LeBron James, and it taught him a lesson. I need to learn how to do this, and Dwayne helped him immensely, and everybody believes that. But nobody believes that he went there as Scottie Pippen. Everybody saw him as a- But that's what Jay Williams said. Okay, well, that started it. So it, it was so wrong-headed by Jay Williams, in my opinion. Why would LeBron even- respond to it why would you why would you honor it why would you validate it why would you fuel the, same, the controversy the same reason when they asked michael jordan could lavar ball beat him one-on-one -on -one in his prime the exact same reason michael jordan responded because at some point in time i'm just not gonna let you keep spewing really bull jive Huh, interesting. Well, what does it really matter in the See, throws of the playoffs? We're, we're about to, they're, they're starting are they tonight. Playing? Are they playing? Not, well, they weren't playing. He, he, Skip, you make it seem like he was in the middle of a timeout, and Frank Vogel was drawing up a play, and he tweeted that response. What happened to zero dark 30? He said it wasn't uh, that. Oh. Didn't he say that? Well, I thought that was because of social racial justice issues that he could follow that's those not what on he said. social That's not media. what he said, well, Skip. That that's not what point. he said. Skip, he made it abundantly clear that he was not going to be that because it was a different situation. He's not at home, and he needs to keep his phones on. Uh, so his kids, his wife, his mom, and things of that nature. Oh. So you, he've already made that abundantly clear. This is going to be unique. Mm. Well, he kept his phone on in all those zero dark 30 years. You don't think his wife couldn't get a hold of him at the arena? You don't think he had a cell phone that, that he kept open for his wife, Savannah? No, what, uh, Matt, uh, what you call him? Uh, Randy probably had that. Okay, well, it, he could be reached. Yeah. And it's the same thing now, so don't give me that. So LeBron tweets. Explain to me why the, I can't say the word. I don't know why LeBron tweets these words. Yeah, tweet it, LeBron. Uh, explain to me what the, you know what, I got to do with this subject matter. Well, explain to me, LeBron, why you would even involve yourself in this subject See, matter. See, this is what I don't get. When Jordan responds to something someone says. It, you know what? It's the first and probably last time I ever saw Michael respond to anything. I covered him okay. when he was a player. He just scoffed Hold at on. anything no, anybody did, uh, said. Let me ask you a question. So when they talked about him and Clyde Drexler being in the same class, did he scoff or did he respond? Respond on the court? No. Did he, he respond on the court? Yeah. Skip, stop it. Well, he you, didn't go skip, to the media and say, you watch, uh, Skip, did he, re in the last dance, when they asked him about Clyde Drexler, did he respond, Skip? Now? See? Well, what it's, are you talking it's, about? It's did he skip. respond? This is, we're talking about, he's playing right now. Is LeBron still active? No, he was not playing. Oh. LeBron James was, in, Skip, you LeBron see? LeBron is trying to get ready. He says, I'm over here minding my damn business. Well, mind it. Mind skip, your business. Skip. What, what are you yeah. responding we, this we, for? So let me ask you a question. Let me, let me ask you a question. Richard Jefferson, under your scenario, mm -hmm. so was Carl Malone or Scottie Pippen or what? Because he's a two-time league MVP, and he didn't win. So what was Carl Malone? He was a Jordan. Uh, why? He didn't win nothing. Yeah, because I thought he, you, I he, thought you, he, he no, ran no. up against the Jordan. No, 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 no. That's all. Hold it's period. End yeah, of story. No, 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 he, no. Was no. he was an alpha. No. He was the takeover. He had killer will. So, so Charles Barkley. So what was Charles Barkley? He was a Pippen. Yep, he was. <laughs> well, he was. <laughs> Skip, this is ridiculous. No, it's this not ridiculous. ridiculous. I backed you into a corner again, and it's Skip. okay. Skip. I'm telling you exactly what's going on here. The There's no need for LeBron to respond to this. Why can't because, he respond? Because you, you know and I know he was not Pippen going to Miami. This somehow hit Skip. some nerve. Skip. Skip, if someone says something mm -hmm. enough, you know that because we got a guy in the White House because he said something mm. enough and people started to believe it. You know how this business works, Skip. Mm. I don't know about the White House, but I'll, I'll let you have that Skip. one.
If somebody says something enough, people will start to believe it. For Richard Jefferson to say that Giannis Antetokounmpo is a Scottie Pippen. He might, which, said he might be. So let me ask you a question. And he is. Let me ask you a question. He is. Let me ask you a question. You can keep saying it. I said it already. Let me ask you a question. When Giannis Antetokounmpo got into the league, what was Richard Jefferson's thoughts on him? Did he think he would be MVP, let alone two? Did he think he would be no one? Idea. So, he, so if he, well, he might be. So let me ask you a question. He should go, come out like you tell me. Be definitive on it. Don't say might. Say he is, mm -hmm. and he's not going to win a title. Okay. That's what he should say. Jay Williams, for you to say LeBron is Scottie Pippen, you do right. realize Mike, that LeBron had four MVP. He had two at the time I, I and was a skip. That. He was a six-time mm -hmm. first-team All-NBA okay. before he ever stepped foot. Got, I got it. You are correct. So in, in the end, all I care about is in the biggest picture that LeBron went to Miami as a Batman with Robin Intangibles. That was the point. That's, you could see it in Cleveland. He needed somebody to show him the way. Let me ask you a question. Had Chris Bosh and D. Wade had elected to come to Cleveland, mm -hmm. or he could have got another superstar to join him in Cleveland, do you believe he leaves, yes or no? In Cleveland? If he know. could have gotten a superstar to... He, he needed help. Yeah. He needed lots of help. He joined forces with two yeah. all-stars, yeah. and he joined forces with the guy that I had already proclaimed was the best clutch player in basketball at that point. You can look it up. Or actually, actually so, so, so what was Kobe? Was Kobe still in the league then? Listen, Dwayne Wade was special. He, he took on his shoulders a team pretty much by himself, and he went to the free throw line that is LeBron's liability. You know it and I know it. Yep. And he carried them to a finals victory over the Mavericks. Yep. That's what he did. The blasphemy is so egregious with LeBron and that you want to make this point about LeBron that now you saying Dwayne Wade was more clutch than Kobe Bryant. Everybody Kobe. universally said Kobe is the closest thing to Jordan as far as mentality, as far as clutchness, as far okay, as clutch. Look at Kobe's record in taking clutch shots. It wasn't that great. Kobe was a great, great player, and he was the closest thing overall to Jordan. Well, well, hold on. But you want to talk about making clutch plays and shots? Go see that guy in Wade County. Well, that, Go check him out. He was special. LeBron James got more clutch shots than yeah. both of them. He doesn't. He does. he's, he does. missed, he's missed more clutch time free throws than any star in the history so, so, of the league. Oh, so now we go back to free throws. You said shots. You didn't mention free throws. Well, I, I, do you know how many times he's run from the three-point <laughs> line? I run to the three-point line and run from the free throw line? You know how many times okay, he made Here's it? the final point about Scottie Pippen. The reason the analogy doesn't quite work is Pippen was never in search of a Jordan, in need of a Jordan. He fell into Jordan's lap. He got drafted by the Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Well, actually, Scottie Pippen might be Jordan, because I know Jordan couldn't get out of the first round until uh, Pippen got there. You know, talk about blast. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, like, the facts. Like you tell me facts. I ain't, there ain't no, ain't no, ain't no con conjecture mm -hmm. here. Okay, point out one series. My final point to you. I want you to find one Michael Jordan playoff series in which he flamed out, shrank, and disappeared like your man did in the 2011 finals or the, the 2010 against Boston, or the 2009 against Orlando. Find me one. Go look. I, you, you can have the rest of the show, and no. if you can bring it back, we'll do the topic, yeah. because you won't be yeah. able to find one. So it, it's like losing. Whether you lose by 50 or you mm. lose by one, you lost. Mm. He averaged 70, and they lost. He averaged 43, and they lost. He averaged 35, and mm. they lost. Mm. He couldn't get out of the first round mm. until he got Scottie Pippen. Mm. That ain't conjecture. Did anybody ever report that Michael Jordan needed to be sedated for the last three games? I don't know what he, he needed. Lost. I know he needed Scotty Pippen. Okay. He needed right, that's the shot he needed. Guys, Scottie Pippen. As much right. as I enjoyed that, and both of you came ready, <laughs> we gotta move on. We don't have any more time. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.